बजेट बे कई नायक सोष्ठिया नडसदार ऐनेता नोड Friends, I also think it's important to point out the Honourable Prime Minister had made a speech recently in Parliament and calling the 2004-2014 a lost decade. No one said this. The dashak we have lost. I want to remind him and through you, the country, 2004-2014 was a era of unprecedented GDP growth. It was an era where 140 million people. were lifted out of abject poverty and we had robust growth in every sector the economy was doing better than ever before there was a reverse brain drain unlike now when high worth individuals intellectuals qualified people are leaving the country for various reasons at that time we had a reverse brain drain we had economic growth unprecedented growth before and india what it is today a large part of it is actually the strength we have the leverage we have the geopolitical strength india has today which the current government is taking benefit of that was really that decade which put india on the global map in terms of our it sector our telecom sector our globalized economy and all of our export initiatives that we took at that time so 2004 to 14 was also a breakthrough record decade because not only did we grow economically Liberalised policies, but we also have social sector programs that are paying us dividends today. Right to food security, right to education, right to employment, right to information, right for tribals. All those rights and fundamental issues were taken up by the UPA government, Dr. Manmohan Singh ji. And I think Dr. Manmohan Singh ji has said that history will judge me far more leniently than what is being said about me now. We had the Indian UPA USD. The BJP actually was opposed to the US UPA deal. they were opposed to direct benefit transfer they were opposed to gst they were opposed to fdi and retail they were opposed to fdi and defense and now they're doing exactly the same thing raat ke 12 baje wo gst chalu karte hain dbt hum logon ne chalu kiya wo uska credit lete hain hum logon ne broadband panchayat mein lekar gaye wo uska credit lete hain and for the last 8 years what the bjp has done is given a slogan every two months stand up india fit india make it india khelo india before one is able to take cognizance of what the new last slogan was ek naya slogan aa jata hai on the ground delivery is what it is we have the highest unemployment in the last 5 decades in this country highest unemployment petrol prices diesel prices uh, lpg prices have never seen this increase ever before and the government is actually curtailing the power and the financial uh, contribution of the state governments therefore the bjp has lot to answer I think we are seeing elections in Tripura, Nagaland, Meghalaya, and very soon in Karnataka. So I am of the opinion that the Congress Party will do extremely well in these elections. But Karnataka, I just want to add, is a state where the people of Karnataka. This is not just the Congress Party. People of Karnataka are looking for a government that works for them. They are looking for a government that does not do polarized politics. They are looking for a government that is their government that wants to create jobs, that wants to create. Well, look at this. Look at the situation in Bangalore today, where we are today. What has happened to our city the last few years? I mean, this is a government that really has a lot of debt to pay. People will seek that price, and I'm absolutely confident that as and when the election commission announces elections in Karnataka, uh, there is no doubt in my mind that not only will we, will we form the government, we'll have a single largest majority ever that the Congress party has secured, and we'll have a, a government that is for the Karnataka people. And that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Mr. Pilot.